Craig Channing and his family were one of thousands who lined Main Street for this year's Sarasota Memorial Day Parade. As a Desert War veteran, he says this day and the annual parade are an emotional event. Only here because of the ones that aren't. And uh, there's, no, there's nothing better that we could do for our country than lay down our life. And, uh, yeah, thank you. The parade included everything from veteran service organizations to law enforcement agencies and even high school bands. And I did my share to protect this country. And I'm not, I don't regret it one bit. And I love this country. Sarasota police also honored one of their own. Officer Juan Jaimes has been on the force since 2011. He's also served two tours of duty in Iraq and one in Afghanistan as a sergeant in the United States Marine Corps. The fact that I'm able to come back here, um, I've done my part in, in overseas and being able to help the country, and the fact that I'm able to come back home and uh, just give that back here in order to make a better community. Sarasota police say that 25% of their current force has served in the military at some point in their career. We really encourage people that are coming out of the service to please apply to our department because you do have the skills, the discipline, the courage, the honor. The parade ended at Hamill Park with a wreath laying and solemn ceremony for local veterans who made the ultimate sacrifice. Eighty-eight-year-old Navy veteran Robert O'Neill was on hand. The decorated war veteran served in World War II and survived the attack on Pearl Harbor. I think it should not only on Veterans Day, but I think any day honoring veterans should be a good outpouring. A message we should all keep in mind for those who have served and for so many who are still on the front lines today. In Sarasota, Rob Wells, SNN Local News.